I got Grady always has some visual aids, so I'm just getting a little bit of a sneak pee review of being able to see what he's got cooking. So. <laughs> Thank you, Governor. You know, the governor would be disappointed in me if I didn't have these cards. And you never want your governor disappointed in you. It is truly my honor for you to be here today, Governor. And when you look at these men and women who stand with us, they are on the front lines. They're the ones keeping the people of Polk County, and there's ones just like them across the state and nation trying their dead level best to keep people safe. But we have to follow the law. And we wouldn't have the laws to do what we do without great governors such as you. And you are the man who's made such a positive difference, and you sent the message loud and clear we're going to keep Polk County safe. We're going to keep Florida safe. We want the world to be safe, and especially the United States. But listen, I'm going to bring this down. You've heard the governor and our attorney general, who I think the absolute world of, who, go ahead and leave that down there. That's, that's right. That thing driving me crazy. And beside that, I got my star up here now, okay? So. So it's an important. I'm going to get this right down to the lowest common denominator. You heard the governor eloquently stay, say what he's doing to protect Florida, and he's doing all that he can to protect us. But look, for those of you in Congress and the executive branch, this is a secure border. This is an unsecure border. Everybody knows the difference except for the executives and the Congress, who are absolutely, totally tone deaf. Now, for those of you who are slow learners, this is a secure border. This is another picture of an insecure, unsecure border, both. Folks, they're coming here not just to find a better way of life, like many of our forefathers did, but they're coming here to kill our people while they make enormous profits. And one example is fentanyl. Look at this. 377,000 people have died in this country since 2018 from fentanyl overdose deaths alone. And where did they come from? The fentanyl's coming from Mexico. We worked a large operation here. We found that the fentanyl had gone to Compton was in a house in Compton. It came directly from Mexico to Compton. We bought two kilos of fentanyl undercover. We flew out there. Law enforcement there wouldn't help us enter the house. They don't knock on doors. The criminals are winning in California. The criminals are winning in New York. Governor DeSantis says the criminals are not gonna win in Florida. And we're going to make sure we carry out those directions. <laughs> Last week, you saw this card. We arrested 228 people in a human trafficking operation, and we rescued folks. Then there was this 21 people that were here illegally that we arrested out of the 228. Listen to me. 9 percent of all of the arrests in this one operation by these law enforcement agencies in one county, 9% were here illegally. And guess what? We also had victims, victims from other countries. That's right. We had victims that came here. You know how these folks got here? The feds flew them for free. So we had victims that were victims of human trafficking that were here from Venezuela. The federal government flew them to New York, gave them some type of certificate. We asked them, what happens? Well, this guy comes with us to make sure we show up and do what we're supposed to. And then he takes us to the next and the next. And we go, well, how do you get there? They said, uh, they told us this. Well, we fly for free. We fly, well, they fly for free, but you and I are paying for it. It's very frightening to me, folks. And then here's what people, some of the mainstream media, some of the politicians, 
Some of the elites are telling us every day, and they're saying this often enough, hoping we'll believe it. What they're saying is they tell us there isn't a border crisis. Have y'all heard that? There isn't a border crisis. I say BS. So I've got a BS flag. So I, I throw the BS flag on that. Then they tell us the border is secure. BS. It's not secure. Then they tell us, oh, the illegal immigrants that are here aren't committing crime at any greater rate than American citizens that commit crime. Well, listen, if they weren't here, they couldn't commit any crime, right? They're committing hundreds of thousands of crimes, and that's just the ones we're arresting them for. So I throw the BS flag on that. Listen, folks, the bottom line to all this is we have a governor, we have a wonderful legislature that's given us all the tools we can to protect the people of the state of Florida. But the people of the United States deserve the same protection and they deserve the same support. So, Governor, you have to deal with a whole lot of BS. <laughs> so, I've got you, your very own, personally autographed oh, man. BS yeah. flag, okay? So, now, yep. I, I think this would go for a lot on eBay. <laughs> Grady's signature on it. So, as I wrap up, folks, we're so fortunate to live in Florida where we have a leader that shows leadership every day. We have a legislature that gets it. We have an attorney general that's the very best, and she works with our office on a lot of long-term investigations. In fact, General, we're in the process of seeking out some people today that some of your team has worked with us on. So God bless the United States of America. And listen, we've got to send a message, not just across this state, but across this nation, the people have a right to be safe.